Good evening. Uh, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna uh, first install Mongoose in our project. Then we um, using Mongoose to connect to our to our database. Okay. And uh, for this exercise, I'm gonna continue using the code we built long time ago. Okay, which is uh, last uh, week some sometime i forgot okay um if you are not familiar you can download the source code or or you can go back to my node.js that a playlist you can start from kind of like a scratch or okay uh start from there okay and uh, i just modify on this project continued okay uh if interesting i I suggest to watch the Node.js playlist. That's that has everything. Okay. Um, first, we have to install Mongoose. How to install? Just using npm install. Okay. Then we do Mongoose. Okay. Save save. Oh, that's one benefit, another benefit, okay. And then uh, we install Mongoose successfully. And after that, we have to uh, make use Mongoose to connect to our database, right? Previously in package, uh, sorry, not package, in app.js, how do we connect to uh, database MongoDB? We're using our util, right? Which is, uh, why they go here? which is here, uh, Mongo Connect, and uh, we have our util class, which is database. This one, we're using this util, uh, utility, okay, module, to connect to our database, right? Since we are using Mongoose, this is useless now, okay? How to connect, we can do is here using Cast, uh, this is our customized. I put it here. Here is the uh, core module or the third party module. Okay. Mongoose uh, equals require mongoose. Let me put this thing here. Front. Because kind of like blocked me, the writing pad. Okay. And then the mongoose. And uh, we just using mongoose connect mongoose.connect okay and here you give the url what url you give here you are passed to your mongoose but the one thing you need to change is when you uh, connect to mongoose here you also need to give a database name here we're using online shopping which is different from this way Okay, different from here, I just give URL how to give the database, I use in this way. You can also, in the URL, can also give the uh, database you want to connect, okay. Here, we just set a database to connect. This is, uh, requi this is required in Mongoose. I briefly take a look at their connection, that uh, official document. I didn't see there's another way you can set the database after this case, okay. After you connect, you set a database. I didn't see an API for that. Probably I didn't look um, carefully, but that's the way I saw inside the Mongoose, the API, which is when you connect, you also give a database name here. And uh, for this connect, it will return a promise. You can use in async await, or you can use in the promise to resolve, okay? Then, and here, in the then, we are gonna do, yes, if it connect successfully, then I will do, yes, using app.listen. Okay, and then I will listen for 3,000. Then here I will give another anonymous function, which will tell uh, console.log server is running on 3,000, okay? And uh, if we have error, then we can do a catch. Okay, and catch, yeah, we can use an error. 
and the console console dot log error okay and now we come into this part we can remove this part it's not needed and we will remove this part okay eventually we're gonna remove this database.js because it's not used anymore okay we're using mongoose to manage the connections for us so now after i'm done i'm gonna restart uh, the server if it restarts successfully then here i'm gonna do is uh, here it's gonna see run server is running on 3000 that means we connect to our database successfully and the server is running but uh, nothing gonna work okay so we just make sure we can see this uh, statement because if we can see this one it means we connect to the database successfully and the server is running successfully now okay npm dot uh, start and uh, it's a little bit slower okay it's a little bit slower okay uh see here server is running on 3000 which means uh, our uh, connection the mongoose connect to our database successfully and we have two warnings the warning is uh, some deprecate deprecation warning what we can do is just pass this option here okay pass this option okay and we have to pass another one, which is this one okay and after i do here you will see a connector successfully and the warning is gone okay so this is our first step how to turn our mongodb uh, api and then you use the mongoose api first you install using npm install the second is make sure you can using the mongoose to connect to our database which is a require after require you do a connect okay and uh, after that connect it right uh, let me see why did oh mongoose yes and you connect and make sure when the url you also pass which database you want to connect okay and after this is done uh, if you can see this statement that means uh, you are successfully connect to database then you can write your business logic okay so that's it for this video and uh, see you next one next one we're gonna display all the products on our page okay um, bye bye. Thank you.